आ रहा है ये भी मोहब्बत है कॉल करना नहीं मेरा पता है कि मैंने एक ही खानी है और जो भी पका होगा उसके साथ मुझे खानी पड़ेगी मेरे हालात और हैं इनको फ़ोन आता है इन बता देते हैं मेरे हालात और हैं ये ऑल राइट लेट्स गो ऑन क्वेश्चन थर्टी टू टू थर्टी फाइव येस नो नॉट गिवन येस नो नॉट गिवन इज द कजन ऑफ ट्रू फॉल्स not given okay there is only one difference and that is in true false not given we've got factual statements and in yes no not given we have writers claims writers claims i read it questions 32 to 35 do the following statements agree with the claims of the writer so in yes no not given we have the claims of writer and in true false not given okay please go back to true false not given 6 to 13 do the following statements agree with the information given in the passage so agree with the information given in the passage is true false not given and writers claims that is yes no not given otherwise methodology is same everything is same answers will come in sequence and the same thing you have to check but it's a fatal mistake if for true you write yes or for yes you write true your answer will be wrong so be extra careful for true false write true false for yes no write yes no okay question 32 description in first chapter of how new york probably looked from the air in early 1600s lacks interest now look at me they have first chapter of the book we are talking about book it's a book review they have first chapter of the book in the first chapter of the book there is the review of how new york looked in 1600s right they mentioned here from the air from the air means from helicopter right and that lacks interest now if it lacks interest means it is not interesting answer is yes not true yes if it is interesting then answer is no and if they don't tell us whether that part is interesting or fascinating then it is not given now let's go back okay you need to look for first chapter first chapter where is it second paragraph okay please now follow me here bar begins chapter 1 by taking the reader on a helicopter helicopter means in the air helicopter time machine right giving a fascinating account account is fascinating the reviewer is saying account is fascinating of how new york landscape in 1609 and in the question they say lacks interest over here they say fascinating account and here they say lacks interest so the answer is no well done question number 33 chapters 2 and 3 now clue word is chapters 2 and 3 and chapters 2 and 3 of of the book exactly you should know that chapters 2 and 3 prepare the reader well for material yet to come now look at me for the word material they may talk about a topic in the book for yet to come they may use the word chapter 5 6 7 8 8. got my point right they say here chapters 2 and 3 prepare the reader well for material yet to come so material means any topic and yet to come means in the next chapters okay now we go back chapter 2 and 3 where is it okay third paragraph third line after full stop both chapters and before that okay i'm reading it from the beginning chapters 2 and 3 take the reader up to the civil war got it now come to third line after full stop both chapters what do they mean by both chapters chapters 2 and 3 both chapters are informative and well re uh, well researched and set the stage now look here set the stage means they prepare you know mahol banana set the stage okay set the stage for the economic analysis that comes later in the book set the stage for economic analysis now economic analysis is the material and later in the book means yet to come, yet to come. so what is the answer yes. yes 
chapters 2 and 3 prepare and what is the word for prepare set the stage set the stage means prepare okay question number 34 biggest problem for many 19th century new york immigrant neighborhoods was lack of amenities now what are amenities water electricity uh, sewerage system hospitals and all that we call them amenities okay so the biggest problem underline the word biggest problem for many 19th century new york immigrant neighborhoods immigrant neighborhoods mean around new york there were some uh, areas where immigrants started living okay so if they were lacking amenities and that was their biggest problem answer is yes if their biggest problem was not lack of amenities some other problem then answer is no and if they don't tell us what was their biggest problem they talk about amenities but they don't term amenities as the biggest problem then answer is not given now let's go back amenities and all that next page second page of the passage first paragraph okay second page first paragraph chapter 4 focuses on immigration and the location of neighborhoods and tenements in the late 19th century Barr identifies four primary immigrant enclaves and analyzes their locations in terms of amenities available in the area most of these enclaves were located and have they said anything that lack of amenities was the biggest problem no so the answer is not given very good got the point amenities is there but biggest problem is not there question number 35 in 19th century new york's immigrant neighborhoods tended to concentrate around the harbor now understand the question 19th century new york's immigrant neighborhoods like they said people who lived around and they were immigrants so immigrant neighborhoods tended to concentrate around the harbor now if they paid attention or they concentrated means they started living around the harbor harbor is where ships are docked right uh, like you know uh, we call them cargo ships okay so if they concentrated around the harbor answer is yes if they paid attention or they started living or if they preferred some other area not harbor then answer is no and if they don't tell us whether the neighborhood immigrant neighborhoods tended to concentrate around harbor or any other area they don't mention area then the answer is not given so come back same paragraph most of these enclaves were located now what is most of these enclaves were located means people concentrated located on the least valuable land between industries located on the waterfront so was it harbor no where is it it was valuable land less valuable land between the industries located on the waterfront and the wealthy neighborhoods bordering central park so it was not harbor it was bordering neighborhoods of central park and industries so answer is no because they have mentioned the area it is not harbor instead of harbor it is bordering central park then they mention between industries located on the waterfront and all that so correct answer is no waterfront is not harbor waterfront is not harbor okay